Good morning. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Tuesday morning, nine o'clock. Time for prayers. I hope you're all doing well today. Um, following the service as it is on the um, Church of England daily prayer app, um, the 18th of May. And um, we're coming up to the day of Pentecost this um, coming Sunday. So just um, give yourselves a moment, gather yourselves and get what you need. Got a lovely cup of tea here, so get yourselves um, a brew if you want. Let's keep just a moment's quiet. Let's wait upon the Lord as we. to do something very technical which is a oh lord open our lips send your holy spirit upon us hallelujah blessed are you creator god to you be praise and glory forever as your spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation. Pour out your spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light. Forever. <laughs> hundred and three oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord O oh my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your sins who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's the lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed he made known his ways to moses and his works to the children of israel the lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all bless the lord you angels of his you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word bless the lord all you his host you ministers of his who do his will bless the lord all you works of his in all places of his dominion bless the lord O my soul glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. read through because we have 98 99 and 100 but i'll just read through um until the end sing to the lord a new song for he has done marvelous things his own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory the lord has made known his salvation his deliverance he has he openly shown in the sight of the nations 
He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord, all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sound praises before the Lord, the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. The Lord is King. Let the peoples tremble. He is enthroned above the cherubim. Let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion and high above all peoples. Let them praise your name, which is great and awesome. The Lord our God is holy. Mighty King who loves justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They call upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the law that he gave them. You answered them, O Lord our God. You were a God who forgave them and pardoned them for their offences. Exalt the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill. For the Lord our God is holy. O be joyful in the Lord, O the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has Then this people <coughs> will begin to prosper. with them. My anger will be kindled against them on that day. I will forsake them and hide my face from them. They will become easy prey and many terrible troubles will come upon them. On that day they will say, have not these troubles come upon us because our God is not in our midst. On that day I will surely hide my face on account of the evil they have done by turning to other gods. Now therefore write this song and teach it to the Israelites. Put it in their mouths, in order that this song may be a witness for me against the Israelites. For when I brought them into the land flowing with milk and honey, which I promised an oath to their ancestors, and they have eaten their fill and grown fat, they would turn to other gods and serve them, despite the terrible troubles come upon them, this song will not be lost from the mouths of their descendants for i know what they're inclined to do even now before i have brought them into the land that i promised them on oath that very day moses wrote this song and taught it to the israelites then the lord commissioned joshua of none and said be strong the land that i promised them i will be with you when Moses finished writing down in the book the words of this law to the very end, Moses commanded the Levites who carried the Ark of the Law and put it beside the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God. Let it remain there as a witness against you, for I know well how rebellious and stubborn you are. While I am still among you, how much more all the elders of your tribes and your officials, so that I may recite these words in their hearing and call heaven and earth to witness against them. For I know that after my death, you will come. Trouble will befall you because you will do what is evil in the sight of the Lord, provoking him to anger through the work of your hands. 
quite a, a heavy reading there, quite a serious reading of the departure um, of Moses. The Lord is, is saying to him, the time is drawing close for you to come to me. And um, the Lord and Moses, knowing very well how people are so prone to go after their own ways and how the law of God will be there as a reminder to them um, of who God is and what their uh, responsibilities were as his people and to be there as that guide to bring them back when they strayed. So as we absorb that, some words based on um, Ezekiel 36 and then a reading from the New Testament. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Hallelujah. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness. A new heart I will give you and put a new spirit within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people and I will be your God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Hallelujah. And now a reading from 1 See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called the children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And all who have this hope, in him purify them everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness sin is lawlessness you know that he has revealed he was revealed to take away sins and him there in him there is no sin no one who abides in him sins no one who sins has either seen him or knows him little children let no one deceive you Everyone who does what is right is righteous, as he is righteous. Everyone who commits sin is a child of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The Son of God was revealed for this purpose, to destroy born of God do not sin. Because God's seed abides in them, they cannot sin, because they have been born of God. The children of God and the children of the devil are revealed in this way. All who do not do what is right are not from God, nor are those who do not love their brothers. And Lord, we ask that you grant us understanding of your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. So what are we to do with... A New Testament reading that says this is how you can tell who the children of God are and those who are not. The very fact that we know that we all sin. Sin? No, it's not because um, John will say elsewhere earlier on in the first chapter of his epistle that if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. In us. That is 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And clearly the first reading from Deuteronomy in the Old Testament, God is fully aware that those people that he's called as his people, his covenant people, they're going to sin and they're going to stray. So what is the point of um, the Old Testament law 
What is the point of the teachings of scriptures? What is it trying to say to us in regard to a life of sin? Well, it's a bit like this, that if we, we with, all that, with all of our determination, decide today that we're, we're not going to do anything wrong, and we live every single day with that determination that we're never going to do anything wrong, before long, we're going to disappoint ourselves, never, never mind God, because we know it's impossible for us to live a perfect life. And so what the Bible is trying to say to us is this, that though we are sinful, when God looks upon us, he doesn't see the sin because of what Jesus has done on the cross. When God looks at us, he sees his children who are forgiven in his sight, who, who are pure. Not because we are pure and not because we deserve to be forgiven, but because of all of what Jesus has done on the cross. If you like, what's called the righteousness of Jesus is like a cloak which is over us. And all God sees is the righteousness of Jesus. And it's the work of the Holy Spirit within us daily and moment by moment to transform us to be more like Christ. And the more that we become like Christ, the less that we want to sin. Now, the very, very fact we do shows us that sin is more than behaviour. Sin is also a condition, which, according to the teaching of the Bible, is what we inherit from Adam and Eve. They sinned. And as it says in, in Romans, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And it's the condition that makes us want to do things which take us away from God. And Jesus has come as a substitute to die on the cross in So that our desires become more the desire. And rightly realise that we're nowhere near where we should be in terms of God's righteousness. We're nowhere near. But when we look back on our lives to what we used to be, we are no longer what we used to be either. And we can see a program on the people that we are today. Sin and not sinning and doing wrong and doing right and living for God and not living for God. It, it, it is a warfare with time we walk in the ways of Jesus we're I don't think we're changed but one of the tests is Christ into our hearts and lives we know that God is our heavenly father and one of the tests sometimes is is when we see people who knew what we used to be like and they'll say things like you know what and so in a way one john is an encouragement to say that actually we are daily becoming more like jesus and daily we want to sin less and less and as we become closer to Jesus we, we suddenly realize that there's, there's always there's always more work for God to do in our lives that ironically it's like coming into uh, the brightest light you can imagine and the closer you get to the light the more the more you can see the spots 
And the closer we get to God, the more we be. But God doesn't show us that to discourage us. He shows us that to draw us ever closer to him. And the closer we get to him, the less we will want to desire to sin. That is what 1 John is saying. We're no longer what we used to be. And day by day, we're becoming the people who more and more desire to sin less and less. One day, we'll be like Jesus. Until then, God sees us as forgiven and as his children without spot and blemish. All because of what Jesus has done for each one of us. Amen. What we should be. Accepted and as your children. So may we know that forgiveness and that open ourselves to you and we desire to get closer to you father in jesus name amen we continue with our service going down to the words of zechariah the benedictus christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive hallelujah blessed be the lord the god of israel who has come to his people and set them free he has raised up for us a mighty saviour born of the house of his servant david through his holy prophets god promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant this was the oath god swore to our father abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sins in the tender compassion of our god the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever amen christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive hallelujah and so we come to a time of prayer, knowing that as we um, look forward to the day of Pentecost, that the Holy Spirit is at work in our lives now and guiding us as we pray. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the grace and work of your blessed Holy Spirit in our lives. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. this family of God. May we feel connected this day. We come to you with our prayers. Think of your world. Your word says we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And so we do literally pray for the peace of Jerusalem today. That there will be peace in the Holy Land but a land that has seen so much. We pray that you'll bring reconciliation between Jew and Arab, that you'll bring peace to those who are warring, and that to the people of Israel, for all who live in that land, in that nation, the Messiah Jesus will be revealed to them, the true Prince of Peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the people of India in such desperate need. Lord, we pray you pour out your grace and provision on that nation. 
We pray that your love would be revealed. We pray for the, the hospitals and the medical community there, that they would know your strength and your help. We remember those working in India to bring your love and we commit to you today the work of Life Association as it works with children and families and pastors and churches and all that it does in that nation. We pray especially uh, for Stephen and Lisa as they head up the work that they would know your provision, the anointing of your Holy Spirit and that Lord you would do a great work in India and as you say in your word beyond what we can even ask or imagine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember our parish, we remember the work of Ashar bringing hope. And we pray for all those, Lord, who are seeking to draw close to you. Especially with Ashar, we pray for the emotional and spiritual health. And how that course and that teaching that Ashar brings can be used in the church and for this community to enable people to live better lives knowing your love for them and to know that sense of peace and well-being in their souls and their minds and their spirits. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. We pray Lord for those who suffer in body mind or spirit. Pray today for Margaret Cartmel Jack Hull, Anne Stud, all those known to us upon our hearts this day, we ask for your healing touch. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in the silence of our hearts, let us bring to Almighty God those things upon our own hearts this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The prayer for today, the collect. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Have a wonderful, blessed day. And we'll see you soon. Church is open on Wednesday for the um, Book of Common Prayer communion service at 11 o'clock. Morning prayers are online on Thursday. Look out for Monday and Friday prayers. And church is open on, on Sundays. And so um, things are opening up more and more and more. So we will see you soon, either online or in person. Be blessed. See you soon.